Hello everyone, and welcome to Tesla Ryan, formerly known as EV Texan. In today's video, I'm going to be covering 240 volt charging options for the Tesla Gen 2 mobile connector. This video is a follow up to my previous 120 volt charging guide that you can watch either by clicking here or using the link in the video description down below. These two videos are designed to assist you in finding the best charging solution for your Tesla based on available outlets. As with the last video, I'll be covering the common outlets that you may likely have in your home, along with some obscure outlets that may fit your needs in some niche situations. All outlets will be grouped by the power level in kilowatts that they supply to your Tesla. The first group I'll be covering are the 15 amp outlets. Although these are the lowest current group in the video, these will charge faster than most of the 120 volt solutions that I discussed in the last video. These outlets will provide 12 amps of current, providing 2.88 kilowatts to your Tesla. This is enough to charge your Model S at 7 miles per hour, Model 3 at 11 miles per hour, Model X at 5 miles per hour, and your Model Y at 10 miles per hour. I'll be showing all these numbers again at the end for comparison, and keep in mind, these will vary with the battery size of your vehicle and other conditions such as state of charge and your battery temperature. These 15 amp outlets include the 615 and the L615. The NEMA 615 is rather uncommon, but is used for some larger window air conditioners, deep freeze freezers, and some light duty commercial equipment. As you can see, this receptacle is very similar to the NEMA 515 outlet that's standard in most North American homes, except the two top terminals are turned sideways. You can purchase an adapter for a 615 outlet on Tesla's website for $35. The other outlet in this group is the L615. Similarly to the 615, this receptacle is used for light duty commercial equipment and some air conditioning units. Fully compatible L615 adapters for the Gen 2 mobile connector are available by request at evseadapters.com for around $88. Just a side note here, I'm not endorsed by evseadapters.com, but their adapters truly are top-notch and high quality that are plug-and-play with the Tesla mobile connector, both Generation 1 and Gen 2. I really prefer having their custom adapters over regular socket adapters. You simply plug the adapter into your mobile connector, plug into your car, and go about your business. If you need an adapter for any receptacles or a custom application, I can't recommend them enough. The 20 amp outlets are next, which include the 620 and the L620. These are a bit quicker than the 15 amp outlets, providing 3.84 kilowatts at 16 amps. This is enough to charge your Model S at 11 miles per hour, Model 3 at 15 miles per hour, Model X at 8 miles per hour, and your Model Y at 14 miles per hour. The 620 outlet looks nearly identical to the 615, except for this winking left side. These are typically used for smaller air conditioning units and some agricultural applications as well. The 620 adapter is available on Tesla's website for $35. It may be nice to keep this adapter around as many air conditioning units in hotels make use of this plug if they're not hardwired. The L620 receptacle is the twist lock version of the 620 for sensitive applications and can commonly be found in power distribution units for servers at data centers. This outlet can also be found on the popular Quick 220, an adapter that allows you to combine two 120 volt outlets to get 240 volts to your Tesla. I'll be making a video on this in the future, so be sure to stay tuned. The L620 adapter is available on EVSE adapters for $59. Up next is a more common sight for most households, the 30 amp receptacles. There are a lot of outlets in this group. The 630, L630, 1430, L1430, and the 1030. These outlets will charge your Tesla twice as fast as the 15 amp group outputting 5.76 kilowatts at 24 amps. You'll receive 17 miles per hour in the Model S, 22 for the Model 3, 14 miles per hour for the Model X, and 21 miles per hour for the Model Y. 
Starting us off is the 630. This is another receptacle that can be found in some hotels for supplying the in-room air conditioner with power. The L630 is the locking version of the 630 and is found in the heavy industry sector for welders and some industrial power tools as well. Both adapters are available on EVSE adapters with the L630 at $59 and the 630 around $49.99. Next is the 1430, which is common in many homes for powering your dryer. If your home was built after 1996, you'll likely have this outlet lurking behind your laundry. You may hear this referred to as a four pin or four wire dryer cable. Following the 1430 is the locking version, the L1430. This receptacle can be a common sight on a lot of light duty generators for power outages, but isn't really used for much else. The 1430 adapter is available on Tesla's website for $35, while the L1430 can be ordered from EVSE adapters for $59. Finally, yet another outlet which you may have in your home, the NEMA 1030 outlet. This receptacle is likely what's powering your dryer if your home was built before 1996. Also referred to as a three pin or three wire dryer cable, this outlet was superseded by the 1430 in 1996. While these outlets are deprecated and no longer used, you can still find them in many households and can grab an adapter from Tesla's website for $35. Before jumping into the next group, there's a caveat I need to discuss about the Gen 2 Mobile Connector. The Gen 2 Mobile Connector is capped at 32 amps maximum for output. This means that although the following groups of adapters and receptacles are technically capable of outputting higher currents than 32 amps, they will be limited to 32 amps regardless. With that note, moving on to the 50 amp group. This group is probably the most common for Tesla owners with receptacles ranging from the 650, 1050, SS250, and the ubiquitous 1450. With the limitation of the Gen 2 mobile connector, the output of 40 amps or 9.6 kilowatts is cut down to 32 amps or 7.68 kilowatts. This will charge your Model S at around 23 miles per hour, Model 3 at 30 miles per hour, Model X at 20 miles per hour, and your Model Y at 29 miles per hour. The NEMA 1450 is the de facto standard when it comes to charging your Tesla, powering your stove, or providing power to your mobile home or RV. Tesla recommends installing this outlet if you plan on solely using your mobile connector to charge. A wired mobile connector that looks remarkably similar to a Gen 2 mobile connector is also sold by Tesla that will get the full 40 amps from a 1450 receptacle, but lacks the ability to change adapters like the standard mobile connector. Tesla even briefly sold a wall connector with a pigtail 1450 adapter, and many Tesla owners, including myself, retrofit their wall connectors for this receptacle as well. I'll be making a how-to video for installing a pigtail on a wall connector in the future, so be sure to stay tuned or subscribe if you're interested. In addition to frequent installations in homes, the 1450 is also the standard for larger RVs and mobile homes. Teslas have become fairly frequent sites at campgrounds and RV parks to grab a charge while they're in remote locations. As expected, this adapter is available on Tesla's website for $35. Next in this group is the 1050 outlet. Much like the 1030 outlet for dryers, this outlet was supplanted by the 1450 for stove and range applications in the home in 1996. It also saw some limited use in high-powered welders, along with some old RVs and mobile homes as well. Adapters for the 1050 are available from EVSE adapters for $59. The NEMA 650 is next, which is rarer than the 1450, but used for some EV equipment, agricultural silo unloaders, and some arc welders. Many older EV charging stations use this connector before most switch to the 1450, so occasionally you may find one where an old charger used to be. The adapter for this outlet is available from Tesla for $35. Finally, the oddest outlet of the whole bunch, the SS250 or CS6365. The SS in this name stands for Ship to Shore. 
and as such can be found in marinas supplying tethered power to boats. This connector is a twist lock design and can also have a water resistant sleeve for the connection itself. My receptacle does not have this sleeve, but I also don't plan on submerging it anytime soon. This odd adapter can be found on EVSE adapters for $59. The final group in this 240 volt charging guide is the 60 amp group with a sole resident. The NEMA 1460 is used in industrial locations for repetitive use, high power applications. Other than increasing compatibility, there is no charging advantage of using a 1460 over a 1450 with the Tesla mobile connector. Instead of the 48 amp, 11.52 kilowatts that it's capable of, you'll get the same 7.68 kilowatts from the 32 amps you're limited to with the Gen 2 mobile connector. This adapter is available from EVSE adapters for $79. So there you have it. That's all the common 240 volt receptacles and adapters, and some rather odd ones as well. While I've covered most of the outlets that NEMA has specified that you're likely to run into, there are many very rare and application-specific receptacles that I didn't touch on. If there's one in particular that you're interested in, let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can dig up on it. I'll also be going over each one of the adapters mentioned in this video in an in-depth review covering thermals, throughput, efficiency, and build quality. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.